first year of the year has been a terrific project for us in Northern Ireland to, to work with. Uh, for many reasons, it, it's heightened our profile as a research intensive university, it's highlighted our profile of doing really high quality research and, and we were working within the theme of arts and humanities which has a terrific resonance for the city of Belfast and a terrific resonance across Northern Ireland. was a very competitive commission. We had uh, 12 submissions from very high quality artists across Northern Ireland and uh, we spent a lot of time looking at them. They were all very different. Some of them were live performance, some were sound installations and, and we actually chose uh, Carrie Neely's work because we felt it, it captured a wider range of, um, of activity but also there was an excitement about using two venues in Belfast city centre the iconic Belfast City Hall, but also showcasing our building here in the city centre of Belfast. So we felt that we got a significant interplay between the Commission and, and what we want to achieve here in Northern Ireland as a vibrant university. Luminous Curious Journey as a title kind of started with a play on words. Um, I started looking at words that had the OU within the title so that we could really pull that out and have focus on the Open University. And then once I had chosen what works were going where, we really went for the title with the OU in it which suited each project. what Carrie achieved in her commission uh, was really getting a, a strong feel for how the research of the Open University uh, interweaved with the very rich tapestry that we have in Belfast and Northern Ireland of the written word. So we've used some very famous poets, we've used people like Michael Longley, we've used Kieran Carson and we've also involved Belfast's new poet laureate Sinead Morrissey. Um, so we've got their works um, being reinterpreted by graphic artists, by digital artists, um, and also what I've really valued has been the way that Carrie has integrated the work of our students and the work of uh, some of our lecturing staff as well. This piece of work that we've been involved with over the last number of months has also inspired Belfast City Council to run a fringe festival. In addition to the, the visual displays at uh, Belfast City Hall and at the Open University building, there are live readings at the Ulster Hall. And again, that's a very iconic and very highly regarded arts venue in the city. So we're really delighted that the city has bought into what we're doing as well. Well, we were delighted here at the Ulster Hall to be part of the University of the Air programme. And we've designed um, a programme of arts events which are looking at the idea of lo local literature just through the lens of other art forms. Um, we have a really wide scope of different events covering photography, music, even dance events um, coinciding with literature. And we're also trying to engage as many different people. So you can see us setting up for a children's event here and all sorts of different things. And I just feel this really buys into the University of the Air's idea that Open University is for everyone. Um, this is a very eclectic programme and we're looking to engage with as many Belfast people as possible this week. I think the, the exhibition obviously has attracted the attention of, of the research community throughout Northern Ireland so you know we've had great engagement with the other two universities in Northern Ireland we've had great engagement with the politicians both at Belfast City Hall and at the Northern Ireland Assembly so they're they're really excited by what the Open University is bringing to the city you know it's, it's a delight to me to be involved in anything at all associated with the Open University but I also want to say thank you to the artists and the ambition of the artists because if anybody's going to see Belfast from itself it's going to be our artists. I think it's, it's putting the Open University right at the heart of the communities that it serves by demonstrating something that people maybe don't realise we do really well and that's research. Mm -hmm.